Hey guys, Justin Clinton here with Vertec, and today we're gonna to talk to you about our new no-go gauges, how to use them, and why they're so important. Let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm here with our 144 or 10 centimeter and 175 or 15 centimeter no-go gauges. These are a really nice handy tool that you can use to quickly get a good idea on how worn out your wear services are. It's always best practice to use a set of calipers, but if you don't have those and you have one of these on site, it's just a really nice, quick, easy way to tell if you need to replace your wear items or not. We have some kind of minimum and maximum diameter references on here that gives you an idea of just how tight these tolerances are and how important it is to check these wear services. So Clint, why don't you go ahead and show them how to check those. Sure. So this is our 10 centimeter or 144 gauge. Then we're gonna take a brand new 10 centimeter cone tip. And as you can see, it doesn't pass through, so it's good. And here is a worn out tip. As you can see, it goes right through, so it's no good, it needs to be changed. Um, there are two other measurements on this gauge. This is your tip angle. And as you can see, there's some space in between. Um, it's got some mushrooming so that that also doesn't pass. And then on the corner here, there's a cut out on the corner of your gauge. And the cutout needs to be smaller than your tip shoulder. So if your shoulder is bigger than the cutaway on the gauge, that's good. If it's below the cutaway, then it's bad. And we can do the same thing with your sleeves. If it passes through, it's no good. This is a new one, obviously it's not gonna pass through, and it's good. Jesse, what else do we have on this gauge? Yeah, so I have a 175 gauge. Everything works the exact same as Clint's, right? If I take a used tip, this will pass right through. If I take a good new tip, it won't pass through. The sleeves are the same way, right? I can take a worn out sleeve, this will pass right through. A new sleeve will not. But another important thing on here is there's a little note that says the sleeve diameter must measure between zero, meaning it's the same size, or larger than the tip diameter by up to 14 thousandths of an inch. So that's super important to make sure that you uh, maintain an ASTM standard, and that is a huge part of the ASTM standard. And the reason why is because let's say you have a really worn out tip and you put on a brand new sleeve. Now the sleeve diameter is gonna be so much larger than the tip that you're gonna increase your sleeve uh, readings substantially and you may have a bit lower tip readings and vice versa. Let's say you throw on a brand new tip and you have a really worn out sleeve and now your tip diameter is actually larger than your sleeve diameter, then you're gonna have all your tip readings but you're gonna end up with almost no sleeve readings. So it will you know, misclassify your soil, behavior types and everything. It's super important guys to make sure that you're measuring these wear services every day before every push. If you don't have a set of calipers, just keep these with you. Uh, we can throw them in every new comb box that we sell and you can just keep them handy and check all your parts before every single push. Yep. Clint, you wanna go ahead and tell them how they can get their hands on these? Yeah, so you guys can call us or email us. Um, you can get it from the website. We can send you a couple. If you want three or four, we'll send them to you for free. We want you taking the best data possible and by doing that, it's testing your equipment daily. That's it. That's about it. We'll see you in the next video. See you later.